Sit. Sit. All right, come on. Sit. Come. Good boy. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another additional walk with Regis. As you see, Regis finally got his new clothes. This is his cute little flannel that we got him. He also has a winter jacket, a hoodie, some boots for when it's snow or, or for it's ice and rain, uh, snow and ice. This flannel and pajamas. So, he has one coat, one hoodie, one flannel, and one pajamas. Whenever you're ready, sir. Today's weather will be high or mid, almost high 50s. Uh oh. Wow, he hasn't seen one of them in forever. That certainly distracted him from his itching. There's a plane up there. And I didn't find anything in the news. I will be reading off the three titles that are in my notifications. But of course, I won't be able to view the story because if I do, it'll click off the video and stop recording. All right, here we go. New story number one. The mayoral election went well for Byron Brown, but not on his home turf. Hmm. One can only wonder what that means. The second one is police seek info on Buffalo man missing for a month. I remember that's the one I told you about, the 24-year-old. Um... Or was he 26? Yeah, I remember telling you guys about this one. And the third one is a parking spot, a voicemail, an alleged slur. Alec Baldwin's complicated life away from cameras. I don't know if you guys have heard in the news or not, but there have, I mean, if you haven't, then where have you been? It's been everywhere. Um, Alec Baldwin was is directing this movie called Rust and he was doing this practice with this gun he was told it was cold which means that it had no live rounds or ammunition in it and just like on the set of The Crow when he acted at reenacted the scene to show the actors what to do it fired off a real live round and it killed someone on set I don't remember her name because it was quite a while ago when I read this story, like when it first happened. And I really haven't been keeping up with it. I do know that he has been lately the subject of ridicule. Some have supported him. Some have been against him. I mean, while I believe that accidents can happen... I wouldn't be blaming Alec Baldwin. I would be blaming whoever handed him the gun and said it was cold. Whoever was supposed to check those guns and make sure that there was nothing in there. That's who I would blame. I, I don't know why we're all blaming Alec Baldwin. He probably doesn't know anything about guns. He probably doesn't know how to tell if it's loaded or not loaded. He probably doesn't even know how to clean it. That would be like your friend asks you if you want to go to Walmart and you say yes 
and you're in the driver or he's in the driver's seat and you're in the passenger seat and you get into a really bad accident that I don't know kills someone and you get blamed for the accident because you were in the passenger seat I mean really it wasn't his fault he thought the gun was safe So that's it for the news. Work went well yesterday. I got in nine hour, almost nine hours of overtime because we stayed and did inventory. And it was like one big party after all the customers left for work. There was food, there was drinks, there was music and, you know, Goofy playing around and, you know, it was great. Everybody had a lot of fun. Come on, Regis. We're going to go on a slightly longer one today. It's a nice day. Every day it's nice and not too cold or not too slippery or anything. We are going to go this way. And I also noticed... When I put his shoes on to see if they fit and looks like they do, he he walks funny in them because he's not used to wearing boots yet. I've tried to get him to wear rain boots before. I've tried to get him to wear shoes before in the snow and the ice because last year for winter, as we were walking through the snow and the ice, by the time we got home, he was yelping in pain from all the frozen bits between his paws. And I always felt bad for him, so I'd carry him the rest of the way home. Anytime he yelped in pain, I would carry him the rest of the way home. And then I would take care of his feetsies, because poor pup. But hopefully these boots do fit. I measured his paws this time instead of just grabbing what sounded right. Apparently his paws are two inches across. It's just adorable because he's got tiny little paws. I know there will never be another pup like him. I know he's probably dying for a companion. I have been looking for another pup. One for him, since all the kitties have their companions. My white cat, I let him out with a new harness, and he slipped out of it again. And just a little tired of him being able to do this, you know? Maybe what I need to do is take him to PetSmart and just fit him with a harness at PetSmart. I think he's about to go potty in a way that I don't want you guys to see. Normally he's the focus of these videos, but if he pops a squad, I'm going to have to move the video away from him. Someone didn't pick up after their dog and we're going to get blamed for it. Just watch. We always get blamed for it even though we're the only ones in the neighborhood that actually pick up after the pup. Oh, yep, he is. All right.
Yep, I'm the only one that picks up after my dog. And I'm the only one people say I'm not picking up. I know more people than me have dogs in this neighborhood. It's disgusting to leave dog poop behind. And he happened to pick a spot next to a pile. Alright, we just let's get you home. Let's feed you. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, you can hit the dislike button. It don't bother me any. Share if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.